I worked on a fascinating film about what sank the Kursk submarine with the loss of 188 sailors. During the film's research, we heard of a secret Soviet torpedo that might have been on board the Kursk, and we were sworn to secrecy. I can now tell you that story. The Skaval overcomes a big problem for torpedoes. Their maximum speed through the water is hampered by drag or friction. All conventional torpedoes have a speed of about 50 knots. This speed has not changed much since World War II. If you fit a larger motor, the drag increases with the extra force, so there is a limited return for a bigger push. How could you reduce or even eliminate the drag of seawater? The Soviets came up with an innovative design idea to run a torpedo inside a moving bubble of gas. This is called supercavitation. Unlike most torpedoes with electric propulsion, the Skaval has a solid rocket motor. The clever design idea was to make the rocket exhaust exit from both the back and front of the torpedo. Here is a recently declassified Skaval nose cone image. Vents force the hot gases out of the front producing a nearly frictionless bubble of hot gas. This eliminates all water drag and gives the Skaval a classified potential top speed of about 230 miles an hour or 386 kilometers per hour. This is how it works. The torpedo has a nearly flat conical disc on its nose. This creates the gas cavity for supercavitation. This disc can twist or gimbal to help guide the weapon. The gas bubble is supported by vents after the nose along the length of the torpedo body. The Skaval could also have extendable fins that hug the size of the gas cavity, working a bit like a hydrofoil. At the rear of the torpedo are movable control surfaces. Eight small rockets surround the main engine. These get the torpedo up to speed. Then the central main rocket fires and produces the supercavitation effect. The Skaval is fired from a conventional 533mm torpedo tube. It exits the tube at 50 knots ignites its eight small rocket motors, gets up to 200 miles an hour, and then fires a supercavitation engine. The Skaval has a range of approximately 7,000 meters. But this amazing weapon has big problems. It is extremely noisy. This makes it easy to detect and possible to trace where it was fired from, so revealing the position of the launch craft. Limited guidance. Because it's so loud, it cannot use conventional sonar to home in on its target by sound. Analysts believe the early Skaval models ran only in a straight line. I believe a Mark II version has guidance and could change its speed as it neared the target. Revenge weapon. Intelligence experts call the nuclear-equipped Skaval a revenge weapon, since it would destroy its target and the craft that it was launched from. A nuclear explosion at 7,000 meters would be devastating for both. The Soviet Union developed the double-hull attack submarine to protect itself when launching this deadly weapon. 
the Kursk submarine was definitely in a class designed to fire Skaval. The US might also have a super cavitation torpedo. If you know details of what is currently deployed or being designed, let me know in a comment. The truth is out there.